What's going on YouTube? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be checking out MIUI 11 beta running on the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3. Now I know I haven't actually featured or shown the Mix 3 on my channel at all, but I figured what better time to do that than now with MIUI 11, which is running Android 10. So full disclosure, this is using the EU ROM, uh, the weekly ROM. Um, so MIUI 11, this is the 9.10.17 build. So there are gonna be some differences from the EU ROM from the actual China beta ROM um, that, or the China stable. So just keep that in mind. For example, the Play Store app, um, some issue, there's gonna be different bugs depending on which ROM you flash as well. And then there's abilities for the Google home screen for the, the minus one uh, screen there. So we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the features, uh, some things that I like about it, and some issues I've been having with this specific EU ROM itself. So first off is the actual design and just overall uh, theme UI of MIUI 11. Xiaomi's done a really good job in cleaning up the design, the UI, and really making it more minimal and more uh, attractive. They've grouped all these settings into a more organized uh, design, um, and these little icons are colorful, so it looks and is just overall more appealing. Um, something I've really enjoyed with the MIUI uh, OS is that it's just very fluid. It looks beautiful and really appealing to your eye, um, and something that I enjoy, all the little animations, um, like the settings icon, just animations switching between apps and it's just it's just really fluid and, and a joy to use. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of complaints, people saying MIUI is not great, but it's not for everyone, yes, but nonetheless. Um, so we'll go ahead and go into some of the new things that we have here. So we know not all devices and not all Xiaomi devices have uh, built-in LED notification lights. Um, that's been kind of going away over the past year plus. The Mix 3 still does up here in the corner, but we do have a new capability that when you receive the notification, it, you get this kind of horizontal light that appears on your screen to let you know that a new notification has arrived. So you can customize that to your liking, or you can just have the screen light up itself. Next is we have always on display settings and customizations for that matter. OnePlus 7 doesn't have it, Pixel has it, but you don't get any sort of customizations. Here on MIUI 11, you have a plethora of uh, different styles and really fitting to what you like. So we can see here some different kaleidoscope styles there, a lot of different colors, kind of uh, analog watch that's kind of very Apple-esque. I'm um, not sure if my camera picks it up, but there's like a gradient in color through that spiral. Um, you have the signature where you can type text, for example. Um, so let's say we apply that real quick. And let the screen, there we go. So there's the always on display. And then you can just uh, unlock the phone with your fingerprint or double tap to open your, your lock screen wallpaper. So one I've been really enjoying is this outer space one. You get a really nice sense because the Mix 3 has a AMOLED panel. It just blends in really well. It looks clean. It's just aesthetically pleasing and it just looks really nice. Um, so yeah, so I've been using that one. Next is we have a wallpaper carousel. So this basically allows you, allows the system to actually change your lock screen wallpaper on a depending on how frequent you want it. You can select the different types of themes that you want to choose from, for example, um, and then every hour it will change your lock screen wallpaper. So that is the one for this hour, and the next hour it'll be different. So that's something pretty nice. Um, you can customize it, you can change how frequent you want it to apply, um, and then how sort of, depending on if you're on Wi-Fi or data, if you have limited data, you can change the sort of quality it downloads, for example. Next, as you know, with Android 10, we do get a dark theme mode or a global dark theme mode. And Xiaomi has introduced dark theme mode in actually MIUI 10. Uh, I forget which build it was, 
but we do now have that in MIUI 11 completely with a dark global dark mode toggle itself. So basically what that means is that we do have dark mode, it's completely black and AMOLED, not like the dark gray that Google does. Um, so we can go into apps that are built in, for example, the calculator, we can go into the dialer there, and Google Chrome, for example, and pretty much any sort of app that uh, will be turned into a dark theme. So the global dark mode will basically change uh, the theme of third-party apps that may not support it um, into an actual physical uh, dark mode. So that's something that's nice. And then you can always schedule this um, for the time of day that you want dark mode to be enabled, which is nice and handy, especially when it gets darker at nighttime, you can automatically switch it to the dark theme, which is much more pleasing on your eyes. Then you have a, a quick toggle as well. You can quickly turn it on or off there as well. You still have all of your access to all your themes. You have the capability of changing like your wallpapers. They do have video wallpapers now, um, which will play in the background. So that's, uh, if that's something you like, that can be your, your wallpaper. Not my, not my style, but um, that will be that's something that's new. So customization is really a forefront in MIUI as a whole itself. Next is the new calculator app. So they've been able to, they've incorporated a lot more functionality into the calculator. You still have the converter, mortgage, you have a lot of different options. You do now have a floating um, capability. So that way you don't have to switch between apps. You can change the transparency as well and then make it back into the large full screen. You have all the kind of converter options and you can calculate a mortgage. Yeah, uh, so this calculator app is full-fledged, it does a lot and multi-purpose, which is nice. There's new like work tools for like documents and, and things like that, but I have those disabled. Um, from the EU ROM, since I use the EU ROM builder, you can disable which system apps you want uh, to disable and things like that. For the first time, MIUI now has the capability to actually use a, an app drawer, which is nice because before you just had a huge, tons of pages of apps filling up your screen, otherwise you have to set up uh, folders, but now you have a, an app drawer for all your apps super smooth and the animation is just really nice as you can see there um, you can turn that off if you want to in the settings and then of course with the eu rom we have the minus one screen for the google um, google feed or you can change it to the app volt depending on your preferences you can double tap to lock the screen change your home screen layout for your icon numbers and width and height Next is in MIUI 11, we have a pretty much a digital well-being. We have the capability of seeing kind of your screen time and how much uh, you've used different apps during different times of the day and how long you've spent in those apps, for example. So here you can see, and then for Chrome, you can limit the screen time for each app as well, which is nice. So if you're someone that is really wanting to kind of help improve your digital life and not be addicted. This is something that can help you as well. And screen limits is uh, pretty much notifications when you reach the amount of time you've had the screen on, that sort of thing. So that's nice to see. Uh, of course, we still have Game Turbo, which allows you to pretty much optimize games for improved performance, block notifications. That's nothing new in MIUI 11, but I thought I'd show that there as well. You still have Second Space, which is awesome. I haven't been using this as a daily driver because I've been having issues with uh, phone calls where my voice is very robotic to the other caller. So I haven't been using this as a daily driver, so I can't really give my feedback for um, kind of battery life on a daily basis, um, but they've incorporated a new battery life mode where it goes into like an ultra battery saver to really kind of get the extra amount of uh, screen time or usability of your phone out of the battery. So it goes into really basic functionality like calls, texts, 
um, and really extends the battery life uh, for much further. So in MIUI 11, we have this new quick replies option. I haven't been able to get it to work at all, um, but when you receive a notification, um, you can actually respond using a quick reply and you can turn that on and off on an app to app basis. There's a lot of other uh, features that may not be in this EU ROM, for example. There's this new feature called MeShare, which will be compatible on Xiaomi devices. It also tells you down here Redmi, Oppo, Vivo, Realme, um, and maybe some other brands as well. But basically what MeShare is, it allows you to easily transfer files, apps, videos to another device, kind of like an airdrop over Bluetooth, um, really seamless and but unfortunately, I don't have the ability to test that at this moment in time. There's a new feature where you can much easier to cast your screen to the smart TVs that support it. Um, unfortunately, again, I don't have something like that that can test. Um, that might be Xiaomi compatible. That was pretty much it. MIUI 11 in a nutshell. There's probably tons more that I missed that I didn't cover. Um, but nonetheless, just a nice update overall. Um, I'm looking forward to this becoming stable and something that I can use on a daily basis. If you guys have any questions or comments about MIUI 11 or the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3, let me know down in the comments below and I can answer those questions as well. If you guys would like to see a how-to guide on how to flash this, then also let me know. I can maybe make one for you. But anyways, thank you all for watching and hopefully this was informative and helpful in showing some of the features on MIUI 11. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.